Hello, in this tutorial, I'll be teaching us how to quickly factorize quadratic equation. A simple approach to that, consider these questions. We want to look at how we can quickly factorize it. The very first one, we have 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 equals 0. What you need to do is that put x in a bracket, x leave a space, then close it. Another thing, x in a bracket, leave a space, close it, equals to 0. Then you go by saying the product of the coefficient of x squared and this constant, that is plus 6. Now that you have the product as plus 6, you consider the factors of plus 6 that can give you minus 5 when added together. So the factors of plus 6 is 3 and 2. To give you minus 5, it has to be that they are both minus. That is minus 2 and minus 3. So all you need to do then is to say minus 3, minus 2. Now that you have that, the coefficient of x squared, which is 3, divide each part of it by it, divide this by 3, and also divide this side by 3. Doing that, you can then say this becomes x minus 1, and this is x minus 2 over 3 equals to 0. Then set each of these to be equals to 0. That becomes x minus 1 equals 0. x minus 1 equals 0. Or x minus 2 over 3 equals 0. You see that it's easy to now say s is equals to 1 or x is equals to 2 over 3. And just as that, you have been able to factorize this quickly. So, if you enjoyed this, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Share this video for more notification on interesting mathematics videos like this. I also want to try it on another one. Let's say we have the, let's say we pick D where we have 3x squared minus 10x minus 8 equals 0. So what we need to do first, do x, open bracket, close bracket, write x here again, close bracket equals to 0. You multiply 3 by negative 8, that gives you negative 24. So what are the factors of negative 24 that when added together, we give you negative 10 and that is basically minus 12 and plus 2 so what then you need to do is put it there minus 12 plus 2 the next thing here is that this is the coefficient of x square divide what is here by the coefficient of x square so this becomes x minus 4 and this is x plus 2 over 3 equals to 0. So it's easier to know that if you set this equals to 0, x will be equals to 4. And if you set this equals to 0, x will be equals to negative 2 over 3. So if you find this method interesting, I want you to lay your hands on this and ensure that you try it out. Drop your answer in the comment section below. Till I come your way next time.